Mom stood by the door and waved goodbye to my sister and me. Have a good day. Bahut sikna. Every single day, Mom reminds us to learn a lot at school. Kavita blew kisses to Mom and stepped on my shoes. I grabbed her hand. Stop walking backward. Nina, don't forget to bring Kavita home with you, Mom said to me. I waved at her without looking back. I had only forgotten my younger sister at school once. Now, every single day, Mom also reminds me to bring her home. On this frosty spring morning, our breaths cartwheeled before disappearing. I held Kavita's mittened hand in mine. As we walked down our street, Kavita burst out singing, I have been working on the railroad. Kavita likes to sing nursery rhymes, songs, jingles from TV commercials, and her favorite, songs she makes up. Sometimes whatever she sings on the way to school, earworms in my head. There are many reasons Kavita likes to sing. In my head list of why Kavita likes to sing. Singing is like her, flowing and unstoppable. Kavita means poetry in Hindi, so singing is all mixed up with her name. Singing gives her a chance to interrupt anyone, anytime, any place. So Kavita, poetry, was singing and skipping. She was making her lungs work as hard as her legs. Unlike Kavita, I like to make lists because lists help me keep organized. Organized means you keep things all straight, not zigzaggy in your head. Most of the time, I write down lists in my notebook called Saki. Saki means friend in Hindi. I've named my notebook because why not? People name their pets, their stuffed animals, and their imaginary friends, so it's okay to name my notebook. And when I write in Saki, it's like sharing a secret with a friend. Kavita was still singing. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Stomping on the old man, Joe. It's not stomping on the old man, Joe. It's strumming on the old banjo, I said.